Greetings, Shepherd King. I am the Merlin, and I have come here, falling through space, to tell you a story. For I am the greatest storyteller of all time, the greatest wizard of all time. Once upon a time, in a faraway land called the Soviet Union, a shepherd king, seeking to lead his people to great bounty, asked to join the Soviet Union. These rude men, pompous in all their ways, Unfair in all their distribution, made the noble shepherd king wait outside and were very rude. And then when it was time to go, the shepherd king approached them and said that he had been waiting. And he had become angry that they had not seen him. And then they proclaimed that they had seen his people and what they were, and claimed that they were goat herders and villagers. And this angered the king. And then they said, we are looking into your oil reserves, but as of now, there looks nothing promising. And the king proclaimed, but his people are good and they are hard workers and they would aid the Soviet Union. And they said, we are making nuclear weapons that can travel across the world. You are a goat herder, they proclaimed to the shepherd king. And this angered the shepherd king. And this angered the shepherd king. And this angered the shepherd king. And, the shepherd king. and he left back home to his people as the noble king that he was. Then, the noble shepherd king was underestimated for he was an ancient ruler, greater than Alexander, the descendant of. And the Nava had bestowed the great entrustment of leadership and history of all the world. And this great king he struck upon the Soviet Union like a serpent and disarmed them of a nuclear warhead tip. For is it not the law, most ancient, and treaty between Atlantis and Lymuria? that nuclear weapons be used only by a royal decree. This is true. And they waved their Kalashnikovs upon the Serpent King. This Shepherd King and 
then they did nothing. For it was the most foolish thing that they could have ever done. And just like that, the Soviet Union had fallen. And the reason that it had fallen was not the actions of the Shepherd King, this Serpent King. See, it was the injustice that the leaders had brought upon the people of the Soviet Union. For little did the Serpent King know, even with all of his noble power, that on the other side of the world in Vietnam, there was another Serpent King. The great Sea King won. The commander of the Sea Serpent, known as Cobra, was making all of this folly I have just spoken of completely irrelevant. Thank you for joining me as I fall through space to send you this great message and story. And if this seems so incredible and so amazing, it only gets more fantastic from here. As the world is in peril, G.I. Joe knows the answer. The Cobra also knows. And G.I. Joe is on a quest to lead his people and save the world! <laughs>